Hello and welcome. And the mathematical symbol of today is the so-called Heaviside function, often denoted with a capital H. However, you also often see the Greek letter theta. Moreover, sometimes the Heaviside function is called the unit step function. This is because the definition of h of x is very simple. There's just one step involved, so we can consider two cases. So either the function is 1 or 0. And indeed, the sine of x tells us in which case we are. Positive points get the value 1 and negative points get the value 0. Therefore, only the question remains what to do with the point 0. And as you can see here, we put it to 1. However, there are also other conventions what to do. Sometimes x is equal to 0 is set to 1 half. Then the value lies exactly in the middle here. However, actually, for a lot of applications, it does not matter at all what we do with the point x is equal to 0. The important thing is just that we have this step here. Hence, the graph of the function looks very simple. We just have these two constant parts. Okay, now you know the heavy side function, which is by the way not called heavy side because there is a heavy side in the graph. It's called heavy side as in the mathematician Olivier Heavy Side. Okay, then I just tell you one last fun fact for the end of the video. You can calculate the derivative of h and you get something nice out. Of course, what comes out should be zero here and here and maybe not defined here at zero. However, this only happens if you do a classical derivative. What one can do is use the derivative for distributions. And then what comes out is the famous Dirac delta distribution. This is a really nice connection if you see both functions as distributions. In fact, if you want to know more about distributions, I have a whole series about them. Therefore, I hope I see you there. Have a nice day. Bye.